then how do you feel when mid question you feel so stupid like I don't know this and you just leave it. what is learning our understanding of learning is the big issue here mm-hmm. when you were at school which is probably similar to me most of my students we did well at school mm-hmm. either we did well or we kind of we did okay but we didn't struggle we weren't the people in class who were like don't get oh baby those that was not us we were like mm-hmm. okay fine if we put in more hours we got better marks so we worked hard but every hour we put in we saw the results our understanding our belief your definition of learning is when i hear something i know it and i can do it it's a smooth mm-hmm. journey step one two three so you believe that learning is as simple as flicking on a switch. Mm. Just like that. That is what your problem is. That's what my problem was. That's what all of my accounting students' problem is. We believe that learning is like flicking on a switch. Nice and fast. And so Mm. when you're studying something and it's not working, you're like, shit, something's broken. Something's broken. And this is where you start doubting yourself because You're comparing how it used to work and you're going, what if I can't do this? What Mm -hmm. if I'm not smart enough for this? Maybe I'm never going to be able to do it. So we feel more stupid. We feel useless. We feel now we're afraid because maybe I'm not going to be able to do this, but I've never wanted anything more. And so, but maybe I'm just not smart enough for this because if I Mm -hmm. was smart enough, then I would be getting this right Foster. Yes. Ta-da. That is your problem. Because of the education system, because of Mm. the types of questions we were given and the way that we used to be taught, we have been taught that learning is a switch. Mm. And when it doesn't go on instantly, oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Something's wrong. Now I've reached the point where I can't go any further. In reality, true reality learning is a journey Mm. and it's messy and it is ugly and it's horrible and you take one step forward and one to the side and a few back and then you cry a little bit and then you make a little and then you sit down and you cry some more and then you go a little further and you go backwards and you go but it's a journey Mm. Do, do you drive she does. Yes. You drive. Okay. So learning to drive a car, was that like flicking a switch? No, never. Mm. But did you stop? No. Because you knew instinctively that it would take some practice. It didn't mean you were stupid. It's just I know that I must do this clutch control thing, but when I actually do it, it does it's weird. <laughs> like mm. it takes I've got to get everything in line. I gotta like it's it's kind of doesn't work. Like it's weird, right? Does that mean that you're stupid? No. no. It's because it's a different type of skill and it takes time for like your brain and your cohorts and your muscles and your muscle memory and like everything to come. And by the time you've had five lessons, things are a bit smoother now mm. because you're like, okay, your brain, there's a whole layer. There's like a whole layers and bunches of stuff going on that we're not really aware of that your brain's going, okay, look, focus on that now, focus on that. Okay, focus on that. Okay, get that right. And then that falls apart. And then you're like, okay, next time it's a little bit easier. It's layers. The type of questions and the type of studying that you used to do was based on memory. Do five questions, question six looks the same. So when you got to questions, you were not problem solving. You were not applying. You were copying solutions that you'd seen in the past. That is not learning. So your experience is that learning means that when I get to questions, I will know the answer. Mm. and if i don't know the answer it means i have not learned properly yes and if i learned properly then i would know the answer and so what is the solution to that problem go back to theory yes those are the tools you were given that is the belief that you have the types of questions and the stuff that you're struggling with is like driving a car you could remember 50 steps of how to drive a car in your head. Mm -hmm. 
if you remembered them perfectly, would that make it easy to drive the car? No. No. Because you're not used to it. Because you're not used to it. Because you're like, get clutch control. Simple. Nice. Simple. Get clutch control. Getting clutch control. Oh, it's another story. <laughs> You've got to feel your way around it, right? The difference between theory and a skill is practice. Simple as that. Simple as that. The problem is that you are still under the impression that if you knew what you were doing and if this was all going according to plan, then the very first question you did would be right. And you take it as a sign mm. that you don't know. That you don't know. And so what do you do? No yeah. touch. Go back to theory. Why? It's safe. It's comfortable. It feels warm. You feel smarter mm. again. You build confidence again. You get your motivation back. And then you build up your strength again. You're like, okay. Let me go do another question. And what happens with the question? Plummet. And you go, see, I was right. It's crap. And I still don't know my stuff. I still don't know what's going on. That's what, what's driving your study session is a belief that if I knew my stuff, then I would get the questions right. Mm. And that is not true. The only thing that will get the questions right is practice. 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 Questions. Just like driving a car. Getting in the car the first time and you stall 55 times and it's a terrible experience and you're like, I'm going to drive into something and you're like, I've got to stop the car. And so like, I can't just. You don't get out the car and go, well, I'm never going to be able to drive. Mm. You get out the car and go like, well, that was crap. Let's see how it goes next time. And you get mm. in and it goes just a little bit better, just a little bit better, just a little bit better. So you've got to see your studying like driving a car. 